Hi everyone, click here for a city test drive. I have another village trip coming up. So we are going with the Prado here, right here. Let me show you. This one you know it in the village trip. And then we have the Amarok right there for lean from Nature Wheels. We have another Amarok this side, let me show you. Another Amarok will be joining us. And then in front there, there is a Land Cruiser uh, 4.5. The weather looks like it's going to rain, but hopefully it rains for me to have fun. But normally people don't like it when it rains because it will be really, really tough going to the village. So I will share with you this village trip. I'll show you how difficult again this time of the year, December, going to my village, especially if it rains, if it rains, it's a uh, that's in true. So those guys at the moment they're just busy cutting up some meat. We have a event that is happening at the village, which I'm not going to share with you, unfortunately. But anyway, they are going to cut some meat. There. After cutting some meat, we need to really get going. It's two minutes to two in the afternoon, p.m. So we need to get really going so that we get there on time because we never know how the roads will change on the other side. Okay, come. Let me show you the 4.5 length cruiser. Side. Some meat in here in the village. Uh, these are the guys that are going to make sure that they some meat is cut. Okay, so the 4.5 is here. This is loading some chairs, everything needs to be loaded up, and also the armor outside. So we have four cars. Unfortunately, somehow we have to speak. Anyway, I'll explain that. Let me show you the old man quickly. Um, here is the old man. You are the old man, I am now you. Eh? How are you keeping? I am doing fine. Yeah, here is the old man once again. He's just um, coming from taking a shower to cool off because this place, this place is very hot. You are lying. I'm telling you, just look at yeah. how I feel right now. Yeah, uh, look, I, just, I am sweating. I but you're just coming from, from, from the taking shower. a shower. You're already you sweating. Okay, okay, so so old man, we are going to the village. Okay. Are you coming along? I am. I am driving my big, you, my you, big, you, my you, you are driving your, your big, big boy. My big boy. Okay. So are you the one who is going to be leading the way? Yes. I should lead you or else you get lost. Let's see. Just Let's ask see. them. We started 11 o'clock at home. Yes. During the night. I would say it was already a midnight. We started yeah. from there. I led them up to Katime here. We arrived around about three. So that's how it is. Your eyesight is still very good. I'm very, very impressed. Very sharp, I tell you. I'm very impressed. Mm. All right, so let's see. Mm. We need to get going because it's two o'clock now, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. So we need to get going so that we can get there on time. Are you yeah. ready? Very ready. Once I've finished uh, having a shower, to me, there is no problem. Okay, great. Yes, I've seen right. my wife. Yes, my two seen... wives. This one. Yeah. And your wife, <laughs> ah, this girl, I cannot tell her story now. <laughs> she will, the husband will beat me. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so we oh, will boy. just quickly How sort out things me, from here. So I'll catch up with you later. We want to see between these guys, between the two VWs, between the two VWs and the two Toyotas, Land Cruisers. Those are four liters. Uh, 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 v, V6 and straight 6. These are just two liters. So we have this one here. And then let me show you. We have this one here. We have Brutus here. And we have the Prado here. So um, we want to see. This is the fight of uh, the big boys. Yeah. Okay, we're just about to leave. Amarok is there. Land Cruiser is here. Amarok, another Amarok is here. The Prado has left. We had to split. Prado has to go somewhere. We'll probably meet somewhere halfway. Uh, okay, so we, instead of going to the village, we are going to collect some firewood. My grandfather had arranged some firewood for us to collect. I thought they were next to the road. Apparently, we are going into this kind of uh, route. So we are just going, we are following the land cruiser. Let me just show you. We are following the land cruiser, there it is. So we're just going, winding into these thick Mopane trees to go find the firewood, collect them, and then load them up 
and then that's when we will continue to the village. So the lunch, the, the, the vegetation is very different from when we go to the village. It's not as tall trees like here. Uh, here we have a lot of mpane trees and it's really quite thick. Um, but as we go to the village, you'll see the landscape will change, the scenery will change, the vegetation will change, everything else changes. So just keep on observing that and then you'll see. So one has to be really careful because there are these small stems, the short stems that are sometimes you might they might not be visible. You can easily step on it and then also it cuts the tire, slices the tires. One has to be careful. seem like we there's anywhere to go here. No, that's just too much. So we have to try to sneak into between places. Sensors are already warning us. So we came to collect firewood. Apparently, um other people when they find firewood piled they collect them if they see that there's no one coming to collect them so all this effort that we did is actually zero for nothing i don't know now where they went now we will get lost because there are lots of tracks now that time i was following new fresh tracks now these people they're just going We arrive at an area where there were a couple of logs that were spared for us to collect. As the two gentlemen are assessing the situation to see if we will salvage a couple of logs here. It looks green, it looks thick in this area. As I start offloading to create space for the fire logs. Lots of mapane trees here. And it's time to pack up to make sure that we take the little logs that were left. Grandpa is always there to make sure things are done properly. He's the one pointing where which logs should go. So we just finished loading. See how loaded the let me show you. Have some firewood in here, really big logs of firewood. So we just finished now. We're just going to join the other Maroc. We left at the road, next to the road. Prado is already ahead of us. Okay, let's go. I'm trying to make sure I keep up with grandpa in this meandering track road. If I lose sight of him, it will be very difficult to find my way back. Just making sure that we keep up with him. But unfortunately, the time I came back to the car, he was gone. You have to know how to navigate this kind of roads. A gentleman from the village is kind enough and he realizes that we are lost. 
He shows me points the direction where the land cruiser went. A huge relief to find our way out of these Mopane trees, considering the time that we are driving going home. I really quite enjoy staring in here. So from here, I want to measure how many kilometers it is. Um, the road is different now. It's more down, up and down, turning left, right, center. Driving on these winding track roads really keeps you awake. Even though I drove 1,200 kilometers from Windu without a rest, here braking and making caves keeps you awake. I speak to the Amarok. This kind of small sand, it's a joke. The four motion makes it with ease. The most important thing is to keep up with Grandpa. And Grandpa seems to be used with this kind of roads. He knows every turn. 
so it's a little bit hard to keep up with him. It's very important to make sure I see every cave that he goes on. To keep up with the tail lights, every turn is important before I get lost. It's really meandering in here and quite thick of these trees we call Mubala. A lot of Mubala tree. As we approach late Grandpa Jost's village, Kuba Jost, in Shukman's Beg. Okay, this is a village um, of my grandfather's cousin. We're just quickly going to have a stop here. That's where the Prado dropped off the trailer to take someone to the clinic quickly before they come back. We're just going to hang around here while we wait for everyone else to come through. Then we can continue. To the village, do you see the Lapa where flood water normally ends in during flood time? It's marked, which is quite amazing. This area gets flooded during flood times. The trailer dropped by the Prado. Big Mubolota tree. This is usually a good tree for shed. This is my grandmother, father's music. It's blasting. In the same song, I will just put it on repeat. Let me put it on the way. That's the old man for you with that song. That song has been playing. Maybe probably since we started. about to leave now waiting for the Prado it's just got here so we have uh, three other boys uh, this side so from here let's see uh, from here let's see um, that one At this point, we are living late uh, from my late grandfather's village. Lots of lightning um, ahead of us, a sign of heavy rain, thunderstorms. And his grandpa heads into the darkness.
The trick again is to keep up with him. The hope is that we get to the village before it rains. Even though I'm looking forward to the rains, knowing how heavy the Amarok is, it's something to be concerned about. An Amarok in the Prado behind us. We still have at least about more than an hour of driving. Some heavy clouds ahead. I'm still impressed with the comfort of the Amarok in this kind of roads. It's very bumpy, but the Amaroks, it really feels as if it's cushioned. Really doing well. We are heading deep into Sana. It's a pity that we are driving here in the dark. Because here where we are, it's open grasslands. It's really nice and green during the day. Hopefully we drive in here during the day. From here onward, there are less trees. Trees are becoming less and less and less. Driving along the Zambezi. When it rains in here, it's very slippery. The grass makes the situation more worse. Something that I was looking forward to, but it seems like the rain is still further away. I'm not sure if we are driving into the rain or the rain is moving away from us. I'm really trying to keep up with Grandpa. Even though it's dark, as he said earlier before, these are his roads. He know where he is. He is our GPS, our living GPS, I always say. Heading into the unknown. The hope for everyone in the cars is that we reach the village dry, which is different from my side. I would prefer it to rain, I would prefer us to be slippery, I would prefer us to be getting stuck, it's fun for me. Passing through other villages.
going home this time of the year and this time of the day always feels so long. I feel for the people that are just sitting in the car, shaking around. The Amarok and the Prado keeping up with us. Grandpa heading, making sure. Luckily, he's heading ahead and I can see when he breaks. It's a warning that there's a pothole, kind of. It's almost 48 hours since I've been up driving. And slowly, I feel drained. But we are almost there. This kind of grass always shows me that we are close to home. Because we kept on driving and driving and driving. And home is far. Especially in the night because you can't see where you are going. We get home midnight. And it was time for me to switch off and rest. Luckily, we arrived home without any raindrop, which was really good. Next time on YC Test Drive, when the rain rains, it rains heavily. We take a drive with my wife in a Prado. <laughs> we collect one of my funniest grandfather. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.